On September 12, 2017, baby Brooke entered the world at just 23 weeks gestation, weighing 14 ounces. When she was born, we were told she was given a 2% chance of survival. She was probably the length of my hand. I couldn't, you know, touch her or hold her or anything. And her skin was transparent. So everything was very crucial on her. I mean, so we, we couldn't touch her for at least a couple weeks. But when I met baby Brooke, she was already about six weeks old. Um, when she was born at 23 weeks, uh, she was very small. She was on the brink of, uh, of, of being a survivable uh, little baby. By the time she was six weeks, she was being monitored for a small intraparenchymal hemorrhage and intraventricular hemorrhage. And this is something that happens to babies when they're born premature or at such a very young age. She was so um, tiny and it was just day by day. It wasn't, you know, they couldn't say, you know, what the outcome was going to be because nobody knew. Because she had a hemorrhage in the ventricle spaces, that can be life-threatening. Um, in addition, um, the way that the ventricles increase in size, slowly but uh, uh, steadily, that can increase the pressure in the brain and not only threaten her life, but also leave her to have a, a lot of developmental delays and issues down the line in terms of her function. We were just terrified. We didn't know what to expect. The first part of the surgery is uh, to put in a small catheter that goes in through the brain and uh, connects to a little reservoir. And we place this in the very little babies where they're not ready to have a permanent system placed. By placing this, it's called a intraventricular reservoir. The neonatology doctors can then access the reservoir, and they access it once every day or so, and remove fluid that has a lot of the blood products in it in order to help relieve the pressure that uh, uh, baby Brooke was dealing with every day. But Brooke would endure several more procedures, including laser eye surgery, surgery to treat excess fluid in the brain, and treatment for PDA, a heart problem common among premature infants. You would take uh, a step forward and three steps back. In addition to having all of the, the, the issue with her heart and her brain, she also had an issue with her guts, where she had something called uh, necrotizing enterocolitis, and that resulted in the fluid that was being shunted to her abdomen to not absorb anymore. The doctors and nursing staff here were just absolutely outstanding. They were phenomenal. They were really phenomenal. They handled her so gently. They were very encouraging. You know, it was days that I was just in tears. This baby would not have made it as far as she has and be so incredible if it wasn't for the incredible team work that uh, multiple specialties at Children's Hospital of Michigan were able to uh, contribute to. While many of her issues were neurosurgical, um, the commitment and the team-based approach from the neonatology physicians and their team, as well as um, the uh, cardiac uh, uh, doctors, is, is just incredibly important. It was a uh, true blessing to be somewhere where she can get all the care that she needed at one place. Her outcome is incredible. She has been a mind-blowing uh, little baby. And definitely has a, a big personality very loving and um, compassionate for others. She's so welcoming, always want to give a hug and say hi to whoever, you know. She is quite possibly one of the cutest little babies I've ever taken care of, and uh, it's really been a pleasure to see uh, what kind of a fighter and incredible spirit she really is, and she's uh, doing incredibly well. We're thankful for Children's Hospital and their um, medical team for giving us hope, giving us um, our daughter in good health. Everybody from the nurses, the doctors, the, um, the specialists, they all coordinate with each other, you know, and I thought that was a big thing. And they, they keep you informed, you know, very well informed. If you have questions, if one of the nurses doesn't have the answer, they get the answer. You know, they just don't leave you, you know, out, out in the cold. That's a great support network that they have here. Unfortunately, the other hospital that she was at you know, they didn't have the equipment, you know, necessary for her survival. So, you know, Children's saved her life.